chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this tutorial we shall learn about symmetrical and alternating functions and alternating we can say expressions now why i am teaching this the purpose is that sometimes an exam has very complex expressions which need to be factorized they are usually asked by the examiner from the concept of symmetrical and alternating expressions if you understand this concept then you can at least try to sort out from all the four options or rule out some of the options out of them the knowledge of this concept is important from the point of factorization we shall study it but at the outset i shall tell you that this is an advanced topic my objective is to put it in a simple way so that you can take some help if it is required in an exam let us begin with what are symmetrical and alternating expressions symmetrical and alternating expressions are in the first place homogeneous now what is homogeneous homogeneous means that the degrees of all the terms are same for example i write an expression like this a plus b plus c now in this case the degree of a is 1 a raised to the power 1 b is 1 b raised to the power 1 c raised to the power 1 degree of all the terms in this expression is 1 and therefore this is a homogeneous expression in degree 1 take another example a square plus ab plus b square this is also homogeneous because the degree of this term is 2 the degree of this term is also 2 1 is of a 1 is of b the powers can be taken as 2 degree of this is also 2 therefore this is a homogeneous expression in degree 2 the degree of the entire expression is 2 and it is called homogeneous because degree of each term is same likewise let us see a cube plus ab square plus a square b plus b cube this is also a homogeneous expression in degree 3 take yet another example a square plus 2ab plus b square this is a homogeneous homogeneous expression in degree 2 because degree of this term is 2 of this term is also 2 one for this one for this and of this is also 2 now this is not a homogeneous expression when we write a plus ab square plus bcd this is not a homogeneous expression because the degree of this is 1 of this is 3 of this is 3 degree of all the terms is not exactly same so this is not a homogeneous expression the concept of symmetrical expressions and alternating expressions these concepts they apply only to the homogeneous expressions this is one thing that you should understand at the outset this is a difficult topic but we are trying to understand it so that we can take some help in the examination now what is a symmetrical expression symmetrical expression symmetrical expression or symmetrical function is one and the same thing these two terms are used interchangeably symmetrical expression or symmetrical function take the case of this one simple expression a plus b this is a linear expression in degree 1 and it is homogeneous degree of this is 1 and of this is also 1 now this is symmetrical if 
a change of any two variables of any two variables does not affect does not affect the expression if i would say if an interchange so for example if i change a to b and b to a if i interchange a and b then what is the value of the expression it is b plus a wherever a is we have written b and wherever b we have written a so this is a symmetrical expression because the value a plus b remains the same even if we change a and b interchange a and b likewise if i write an expression like this a plus b plus c then this is also a symmetrical expression in degree 1 because a and b a or c b or c when any pair is interchanged the value of the expression will remain the same let us interchange b and c so what will be the expression a plus c plus b the value remains the same so this is a symmetrical expression symmetrical expression so i will revise what we have done so far any homogeneous expression is an expression in which the degree of each term is same a square ab b square and if a homogeneous expression retains its value the value remains the same if any two variables are interchanged then that homogeneous expression is called a symmetrical expression let us take a few more examples of symmetrical expressions so that this concept can sink into you now let us test whether x plus y plus z whole cube minus x cube minus y cube minus z cube is symmetrical or not we can test x and y change x and y and let us see whether this test succeeds we'll write it as y plus x plus z whole cube this will go become y and this one will be becoming x minus z cube we can obviously see that the value of the expression remains the same so this well this expression is homogeneous as well as symmetrical now i have tested only for y and x but the test must be done for each pair and obviously when we can when we can see it at the first sight that it looks a symmetrical then just for verification purpose you can only try to change interchange one of the pairs and if that works then most probably the whole expression is going to be symmetrical only because we can trust our eyes if it appears then just one test is required and you will be able to say that this is a symmetrical expression let us take another example now what about this expression x square minus y square now the x square minus y square if we interchange x and y interchange x and y so what do we get we will get y square minus x square in this case the value has not remained the same that the but the value has reversed in sign because y minus square is x square is same as minus x square minus y square the sign has now flipped it was plus sign now the sign is minus interchange of x and y has not maintained the value so this is not symmetrical so i hope you understand the concept like what is a symmetrical and what is a not symmetrical function or an expression so let me write the rules for a symmetrical function the notes that you can see one is a symmetrical function is symmetrical function is homogeneous that is one thing that we need to know 
The second thing is that a symmetrical function retains value retains value when any pair is interchanged. This is one thing. And the third rule that is not very obvious is that some product difference of two symmetrical functions of two symmetrical functions is also symmetrical. So, this is the third rule which you can observe always that the sum of two symmetrical functions is always symmetrical, product is also symmetrical and difference is also symmetrical. So, these are the three rules that you should remember. These can be used as I will show later. Their use I will show later. But right now, you can see and retain and uh, remember these three points regarding the symmetrical functions. So, in case you still have any problem with this one, I will just take one example to just convince you about this. Let me move to the next screen so that I can show you an example. See this one. We know that x, y is symmetrical. We know that x plus y is also symmetrical. Both are homogeneous and they both have, uh, they both when interchange, the value of the expressions, they remain the same. This is symmetrical, this is symmetrical. Now since they are symmetrical, they are some expression x, y plus x plus y, this combined expression is also symmetrical. Because if you change, interchange them and interchange them, then the story will remain the same because this individually doesn't change the value and this individually doesn't change the value. So this is one common observation. This sum is symmetrical. We can likewise see that x, y into x plus y, the product is also symmetrical. So, x y is symmetrical, x plus y is symmetrical and their product expression x y into x plus y is also symmetrical. So, that is the third part. This should make you clear about it. Let us now move on to what are, what are alternating expressions. So, I will write alternating expressions. Alternating expressions are firstly homogeneous, just like you have symmetrical ones. Secondly, on interchange, on interchange of any pair of variables, they reverse their sign. They reverse their sign. Take for example, x minus y. Now when you interchange x and y, the expression becomes y minus x, which is same as minus x minus y. Therefore, x minus y is not symmetrical, but it is alternating. We can similarly observe that y square minus x square is also alternating. So, these are examples of alternating functions. Now, alternating functions have a few properties. The first property is they are homogeneous as I already told you. Secondly, change of sign. That also we have already written above. The third thing is product of product of symmetrical and alternating is alternating. So, if you multiply an alternating function by a symmetrical function, the resulting function or expression will be alternating. This is also easy to see. For example, x, y is symmetrical but y minus x is alternating. 
so if you multiply them y minus x in this case if you interchange x and y the sign of this expression will undergo a change this is one thing that you should remember this will be very useful when we factorize and use these concepts for factorization there is a fourth point also let me take that separately the linear expression x minus y is alternating and it is a linear expression because it has degree 1 and it is in two variables now the rule is the fourth rule is the fourth observation not the rule but the observation is that linear expression linear expressions in three or more variables or more variables cannot be alternating this means you cannot have any function that involves x y and z and which is alternating so alternating function cannot be made out of three variables or more variables this is one also observation that you can see and you can obviously verify also so if you write it as x minus y minus z or plus z in that case this won't be alternating at all so it is not possible to have a linear expression in three or more variables which is alternating so these are the four points that you should remember regarding alternating variables now let us apply our knowledge to do some factorization let us start with the most simple expressions let us suppose we have to factorize x square minus y square suppose this is the question we already know that its answer is x plus y into x minus y and purposely i have taken this simple example so that i can illustrate the concept of factorization this factorization is being done with the help of symmetrical and alternating functions and another thing is that this method is very useful if you get very complicated expressions i'll take a number of examples of them also but before let me put forth the theory of factorization of a very simple expression such as x square minus y square i'll proceed in a step by step manner step 1 this is the step 1 usually in all these examples first of all we are to factorize x square minus y square this is in two variables first of all look from the perspective from the perspective of x so we can write it as fx equal to x square minus y square we can think of y as some sort of a constant and this is a function only in x so this is one thing that we'll always start with this so look at a function at an expression from the perspective of only one of the variables so had it been x cube plus y cube or add some x square y then we would have looked it at from the perspective of x and written it as fx equal to this expression so this is first step now we observe we observe that f y is if it is a function in x then what is f y f y will be y square minus y square equal to 0 wherever we have x we will put y and we will find that the expression value is 0 by factorization theorem by factorization theorem we can see we see that now what is factorization theorem if in a function fx f a is 0 is 0 then x minus a is a factor of fx 
this is what our theorem says that if for a certain function fx f a is 0 then x minus a is a factor of fx so we can say on similar lines we can see that x minus y is a factor of is a factor of x square minus y square so this is a very straightforward conclusion we see that x minus y is a factor of x square minus y square okay now when after this initial observation this means that we can write x square uh, wait i'll move on to step 2 on the next page i'll erase the board and move on to the next page so we are factorizing x square minus y square and as a step 1 we have found that x minus y is one of the factors one of the factors now as step 2 the given expression is homogeneous it has a degree 2 so what can we say about the second factor the second factor will obviously be a factor in uh, will be a factor in degree 1 in degree 1 and homogeneous because x minus y is one of the factors and the degree of x minus y as an expression is 1 so the degree of the second expression should also be 1 and it should be linear in x and y degree 1 means linear so it will be an expression in x and y had this been a cubical then we would have said that this would be an expression in degree 2 because the total degree on the right side has to be 2 if the degree on the left side is 2 it has to be 3 if the degree on the left side is 3 so the degree of this term in expression in this case is going to be 1 because 1 of this and 1 for this will combine to make it a degree of 2 because the degree of the actual expression is 2 and it is homogeneous and on this side also we should have an expression of degree 1 now what sort of expression what sort now x minus x square minus y square is alternating x square minus y square is alternating this is one thing we know so what about the product of x minus y and this x minus y is also alternating also alternating now we have already written in rule 4 last uh, last slide you see there we have seen that a product of symmetrical and alternating can be alternating so this means this expression has to be a symmetrical expression a symmetrical expression because when a symmetrical is multiplied to an alternating then the result is going to be alternating so i'll repeat this in step 2 we are deciding about the remaining factors we have now shortlisted that x minus 1 y is already one of the factors we are now thinking about our second factor the second factor for that we conclude by reasoning out that the degree of the second factor should be 1 because the degree of this is already 1 so 1 and 2 will make 1 and 1 will make 2 so as to match the degree of the actual expression which is 2 as we see here that is one thing the second thing is then we were to com conclude like what sort would it be now we see that this is alternating because it reverses its sign when x and y are interchanged and we also know that an alternating and a symmetrical function multiplied together will give you an alternating because this is alternating so if it is now split into factors x minus y into something else then this something else must be symmetrical so 
now the next thing is we have to just write the symmetrical function in x and y so the symmetrical function in x and y is known to be x plus y therefore the factors of x square minus y square should be x minus y into x plus y this is pure reasoning and those of you are interested in reasoning this will have sounded very interesting things don't stop at this point now these two are multiplied together but there is always a possibility of some constant also we need to verify the value of this constant because a constant has a degree 0 and this will this can be multiplied while still maintaining it a homogeneous expression in degree 2 so this constant is always possible so we will have to now make a verification about the value of this constant k so in your step 3 always always in all examples you have to now find out the value of this constant k so this is the second step this is the third step and that was the first step when we guessed out the factor by using the factor theorem let me go to the third step i'll erase the board and take it to the third page now this is going to be always true so the technique is to give some values to x and y and then solve for k let us start by giving x equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 so putting these values what we will see it as 0 square minus 1 square is equal to k into 0 plus 1 multiplied by 0 minus 1 so we have put x 0 everywhere and y as 1 x0 y1 x0 y1 which implies this will be 0 minus 1 equal to k into 1 into minus 1 which implies minus 1 is equal to minus k which implies 1 is equal to k which implies x square minus y square has to be x plus y into x minus y so this is a another approach to factorizing a given homogeneous expression which is either alternating or symmetrical so i'll summarize before i close for the technique which i have listed three conditions must be met expression must be must be homogeneous you should always look in your exam whether the expression is homogeneous number two it must be symmetrical or it should be alternating so if these two conditions are there then you can easily apply these steps that i have listed below listed in the example to factorize it very easily so this concept i have laid out in this video but in my next video i will take up a number of complicated examples based on the concept of symmetrical and alternating functions and i will show you how we can use to use these concepts to find out the factorials of the most complicated expressions and those questions are being asked in the exams another thing is that you might have found the method when i applied to factorize this simple example a bit long but if you have sufficient practice then most of these steps can be done orally and moreover that method is very suitable only for very complex expressions but this simple expression was required so that i could explain the concept to you Revise